With bulk flow, fluids will leave a capillary because of pressure, not because of diffusion or penocytosis. The blood hydrostatic pressure, or BHP, is an outward pushing force, which will force fluid through the spaces between the endothelial cells lining the capillaries. Small molecules may leave with the fluid and thus leave the capillary. So gases, glucose, amino acids, etc. may travel with uh, the water. Larger substances such as blood proteins and blood cells cannot pass through these spaces. So with bulk flow, uh, pressure pushes materials from a capillary. At the arterial end of a capillary, the blood hydrostatic pressure, which is the outward pushing force, exceeds the pressure of the osmotic pressure, the blood colloid osmotic pressure, or BCOP, which was in, is an inward pushing force. Because the outward pushing force exceeds the inward pushing, pushing force, there is a net uh, pressure which will force fluid and materials out of the capillary. And this is the situation which exists at the arterial end of a capillary. At the venial end of the capillary, the blood pressure has been reduced. As a result, the osmotic pressure, the blood colloid osmotic pressure, the inward force, exceeds the blood pressure which is the outward force. Because of this, the net pressure is that of an inward force which returns fluid to uh, the capillary bringing materials with it. This is what occurs at the venial end of the capillary.